Bill, you're something of an expert on Edwin Edwards. You first covered him 30 years ago? 30 years ago, before the uh, World's Fair in New Orleans in 1984. So even though you've been an editor of these last several years, you couldn't help yourself but go back there and cover his last, will it be his last run for Who Congress? Who knows? I mean, he's 86? He's 86. I think it's unlikely that he's going to win this race, but I think the universal view in Louisiana is this is Edwin Edwards. Anything can happen. And what was he like? I mean, did it bring back old memories of your covering him when you saw it him? It really did. I think Edwards, while he has a very complicated reputation in Louisiana and obviously is not beloved by a lot of Louisianans because the trail of corruption that has followed him, uh, I think for people who like politics, I certainly count myself among those, uh, it's hard not to enjoy being around him. He's so quick. He's so smart. He's so funny. He's so colorful. And even at 86, he's still very much with it. And uh, as I hope the piece reflects, uh, there was a rapid fire string of Edwin Edwards quips and his mind is just as fast as it, as it ever was. Edwards for me was sort of the ultimate and someone that just loves the game, that enjoys politics, that thrives on politics. And it was great fun to mix it up with him. And he asked you something about flights to, to D.C.? He did. When I actually, when I first got down there, he was very interested in how much my flight had cost and what were the cheapest flights uh, between D.C. and New Orleans. So he's clearly uh, really thinking that he's going to win. So we're ready for him to be back in Washington. We're, I, I mean, I can't speak for the people of Louisiana. I think it'd be a hell of a lot of fun for us.